over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. Boss mode. Um, and then, like, as I mentioned before, with the zone, there is another card on Friday night, which, like I said, I could say I completely forgot about. Of course, uh, Danny Jacobs versus Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. This fight seems to be on some random shit, too, in terms of how it got put together. Like, it's just like, you know, it's just like, it, to me, it just has a feel of like a stay busy ass fight for Jacobs. <laughs> you know, I don't know what the fuck. I mean, for Chavez, it's probably just like he probably ran out of money and just needs to make a bag. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's good. That's uh, that's all. I, that's why. I, that's why I think. Isn't um, isn't this his first fight at 168, Jacobs? Uh, officially, yes. Yeah. It yeah. is. Yes. And now, for 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 our audience who's not uh, well aware of, you know, Danny Jacobs, uh, going 168. Danny Jacobs is a is is big for his size. You know, he was big for middleweight. Um, there were a couple of fights uh, where he kind of. He, where of course he was, he was challenging for the IBF belt, middleweight belt, and why he he would pass the first weigh in, uh, he would blow the second one off. He did this, he did this most famously against you know Gennady Golovkin, aka Triple G. So um, and, and it was no nice. to him. Take belts, take my belts. <laughs> this box, you know. Thank you very much, Mox. <laughs> Guys, miss, miss weigh in. <laughs> use use Avengers training. <laughs> oh my god, but yeah, you know, Danny looked in there looked like a fucking cruiserweight against, you know, and, and thankfully thankfully Triple God, you know, as we you know, as we call him among you know, amongst us amongst ourselves, because he's 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 a righteous fighter, um, has the power to actually hurt bigger fighters. You know Or cruiserweights so. that don't fight like cruiserweights. Exactly, you know, when you want to be on your toes and stuff like that, you have a size advantage, but you be on your toes, circling away, you know. Why, yes, you know, you, you box admirably, but when he got touched, he got hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so I mean, he he, he did all that because he wanted to be comfortable. He was like, you know, I want to be comfortable in the ring, and he still lost his regular middleweight belt. Um. Then he rebounded against Dvorianchenko. Um, he weighed in properly. I think this is when he was using Chris Algeri. You know, he got on that avocado diet or whatever the fuck that Algeri be peddling these days. Um, and he actually looked like an actual middleweight, you know, and fought and fought like one. And he won the belt. And then, mm-hmm. and then you know, comes the Canelo fight. The, you know, for this year, this was supposed to be—it was supposed to be the big super fight for this year, the first super fight of this year, because it was a three belt unification. You know, and you know, ev- everyone, you know, myself, I know LB, you know, Pete, we all had high hopes that we were going to see see something classic. Um, and then you know, you, you know that for things started going left when you know, because of course at the time I was like, you know, if Danny pulls the same shit here, I'll respect it. But I know, but then I'll know what time it is. If he didn't pull the shit here, then you know I would I would have lost all respect for him. But he pulled the shit here. He pulled that same way and shit. But this time they had a rehydration clause up in that shit. So Danny lost like a million dollars because he went way because he did he he, he he missed the second way in by a whole lot. You know, so yeah, that uh, should have let people know then. Like, yeah, he, he was he was overdue for super middleweight, man. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. you're trying to boil yourself down to get these paydays when you be making new paydays. Exactly, but like I said, I, I respect it because you kept because you because you because um, you know you kept the same energy. I have to respect it, right. but at yeah. the same time, it, but at the same time, it let me know what time it was. You know, because it and, was because it because it wasn't about the damn belt. Like it was the name. He, beating beating Triple G and beating Canelo means more than a belt. So fuck the second day away. Yeah, and then, but um, but this time though his body betrayed him. Like no, there wasn't any of that, you know, cruiserweight dancing around the ring shit. No, it was just it was a whole it was just slow action. Sluggish. I can't get Sluggish. my punches off. From both fighters, not just Danny, but from Canelo as well. It was just it was. Yeah, but Dan- Danny Danny definitely looked worse. Yeah, exactly. And the funny thing is too, Danny actually came alive in the later rounds. 
but because he gave away so many fucking rounds in the beginning, you can like, you know, he lost, you know, yeah. flat out. And it was and it was a hard it was a hard fight, you know. The crowd was pissed, you know. I was pissed for watching it. LB was pissed for watching it. P might have liked it, you know. He likes the comedian. Yeah, no, nah, it was it was it was mid. I'll say that. I'll be nice to say it was mid. Trash, nigga. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Well, I'm not nice though. I, I call it shit. I, I, I said, mid, yeah, it's mid in the sense where you know, you know. You, you connect ho- hollers at you like yo man I got this new loud I got some new shit and you come through come through the spot and you get there you know and he presents you some mid <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, got this, I got this Danny Jacobs Canelo pack yeah you know, it, yeah it was it was, a, it was a whole bunch of horse shit and I shit all over this fight proudly you know and uh, yeah and I said it was a dud and then Dan Jacobs pretty much was just, you know, disappeared or whatever. So now, obviously, to get him back in the mix to get him one more fight this year, we have, you know, you know, what better way to say, hello, I'm at 168, than to face probably one of the biggest, most fuckery-filled fighters of this modern era. Especially of this decade, I should say, you know, since, since 2019 is about to come to a close in about a couple of weeks. You know, who is Cesar Chavez Jr., I mean... To go through his level, to go through his list of fuckery is an episode on its own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's and he hadn't been seen in. The, I mean, you know, he he had a comeback fight, uh, which he won by the he won in the first round this year. But prior to that, he had a horrific performance against one Canelo Alvarez. What is it about Canelo that has all these struggle ass fights, anyways, bro? You know, it's like, it's every every time every time I have to every time I mention a struggle ass fight, Canelo is involved, man. Jesus, <laughs> you know, this is your champion. Yeah. <laughs> your legend. God damn! <laughs> I'm just saying, dog, because it's like, yo, man, there, there's like a, a big media bias with a lot of these fighters and ring gang. We just come to sort all this out, so, so sort all this shit out, and just be real with it, like. Yeah. That's all it is. Like, no one's calling out these guys and just telling them what it is. I already know the deal. Like, I'm not looking for a check from these Canelo or Golden Boy, these niggas, man. No, fuck no. You know, like I said, you, you got to call it this. It's like all these struggle fights. And this Chavez fight was horrid because Chavez, I mean, because there was a, obviously there was a penalty. And, you know, Chavez decided he wanted to do take on a 164 catch rate, which he made. And dude was like ripped to shreds or whatever, but he got into that ring, you know, and literally had no energy to do a goddamn thing. And what made it worse was Canelo not even attempting to put him away, <laughs> not even moving forward on him to put him away. And I watched this shit in the movie theater, and niggas were shitting on this shit so much. It was it was wonderful. I think that was the most entertaining aspect of that damn fight, you know. And then, you know, obviously Chavez got washed and and B was barely battered. Like he wasn't even bruised or nothing either. Oh you know what I'm God, are you, are you, oh, I don't, I, I, I have nothing to say about that. Yeah. And then of course, disgusting. and of course later on, and of course later on there was some fuckery because I think uh, he, he was at the hotel later. I think some hooker stole his check or some shit like that. There yep. was some fuckery behind that. He got, you know, he, he got Charlo. Yeah, exactly. You know, so yeah, Chavez, you know, and then after that, I mean, you saw the pictures of him looking like he ate a whole bunch of hamburgers and shit, you know, walking around <laughs> looking like a, like a straight up heavyweight. You know? now he, he's and, like the Mexican version of Broner at this point. Exactly. Always Except, getting big fights. Always out of shape in between fights. Just, you know, always into some fuckery, some antics, something. Yeah, and I mean, then Broner the latest- Broner gave you better training videos though. Yeah. Meanwhile, Chavez training videos are just a whole are him walking around in 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 um, small ass skimmies eating fucking fruity pebbles and shit. And why yeah. why his why his father, the great Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., is out there working like he can actually get back in the ring and start being some of these one forty ass niggas down. You know what I'm saying? You know. So you see, you seen the last fight his dad had with uh, Arce, the um that little uh what's it? It was some type of exhibition match. Yeah. 
that shit was lit. I was like, damn, like yeah, you know, our guys putting you know, on these man. damn fights. Like you can't even get fucking <laughs> these top guys to go at it like that. Hell nah, you know. But you know, like I said, that when you're an old school Mexican, you know, that's I mean, they they, that, they don't know they don't know nothing else but but how to fight. That Mexico school of boxing, you know, that's all they do, man. They fight, you know, and they they love know. some fucking boxing, like man. Yeah, sure. Honestly, they, I mean, they are the best fans. I mean, by far, they are the best fans in the world when it comes to boxing. I mean, that's just facts. I mean, I mean, you can, you can say, oh, no, America is better. Oh, no, England may be better. England is close, but Mexicans, Mexicans are fanatics about this shit. And, and the funny thing is, and even then, I'm just trying, I, I, I've always tried to get a temperature to how they, how they feel about Junior, because he's so, he's, so he's that, he's that one relative that just fucks up, but you just forgive him and you just <laughs> accept it. Right. Nah, they hate. They hate him. Hate him. It's a disgrace. <laughs> I went to Mexico two years ago. This day. I talked to one of the guys about the box, and he was like, "They hate. They hate him. He's a uh, <laughs> disgrace." <laughs> yeah, you know, Junior. He's an interesting guy, and like his latest fuckery around surrounding this fight, which we just actually got a decision about today, is. A couple of weeks ago, um, you know, you know, people for I think it was Vada or somebody, they popped into his camp for a random drug test, you know, and Chavez has had some incidents before in the past with taking drugs. I mean, if you ever if you ever saw him during his middle weight grind, uh, his reign, like you'd see dude like come to the wains looking like thinner. You know, like you know, big <laughs> ass, big ass head. You can see every fucking rib in his rib cage showing. Body is listless, lifeless, skeletor. Yeah, I mean, this was most famously shown like during this fight with Sergio Martinez. You saw the way, like Sergio Martinez looked like look like a fucking badass compared to this motherfucker. You know, you know, like Sergio was looking like you know I'm gonna beat the brakes off this nigga, and then he comes to the ring and he's like a fucking he's almost like a small heavyweight. You know, it's just like it, it's fucking ridiculous. So it's like. You know that this motherfucker was taking something like he he I mean he he there was a no contest on his record because of this. Um Yeah, he did the same shit, but uh shout out to Poland cause um from far I wasn't have none of that shit. Yeah, none of that shit at all. He was like, nah bro, you know, you we're gonna fight at one seventy five. You're gonna you're gonna make this weight naturally and I'm gonna, gonna beat that ass. ass whoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right though, um, and then like, but then he was like, "Oh no, he dodged the drug test. You know, you can't be you can't be dodging drug test." So they suspended his ass, and then at this time they're trying to make this fight with Jacobs. So it got to the point where Eddie is like, "You know what? If he, if they don't let him fight, then Gabriel Rosado was gonna take his place, and that's even more of a <sighs> yeah, yeah. You know, Gabriel Rosado is a man that." got his prime being out of him at, at the most inopportune time by by one Gennady Golovkin and has has descended into um, Jabberville with occasional performances um, you know nice performances like mixed in like unexpected performance like the Selecki fight shit like that um, so yeah neither I mean if you know Chavez Jr. Is at least would probably bring in the crowds or whatever or at least some fuckery. Rosado would just be like, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's really, that's a downgrade from a downgrade. Yeah, that's a downgrade. And I mean, you're thing, not even getting mid no more. You're like getting, you're getting Reggie now. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You're getting oregano. <laughs> you getting oregano. <laughs> I think he's just gonna just say, he, he just straight fucking put, put, put some shenanigans on you at this point. Right. <laughs> like you, you're not getting mid no more. You're not even getting fired, man. This ain't even fire, man. You ain't you get not even Reggie. You get Reggie, you getting damn oregano with some banana leaves. <laughs> they go to send you on your way. Facts. And then uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't like, want that. Yeah, and, and pretty much just get to a point where you just didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen. Like who who the fuck is Dan Jacobs gonna be facing? You know, and it's just like, and then finally, I think it was today that they ruled um, for Junior, as in, you know, that he could actually fight without any uh, problems. So basically, it looks like some money got slipped, you know, you know, some slipped through some hands or whatever, and uh, bam, you know, uh, we have a fight. Got it. That long. 
<laughs> yeah, he and can't fight. Now, if you had, <laughs> let me, now, let me, you, let me now, people call your people. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, my bridge is probably like, yeah, I'll give you front row seats to every damn fight we have in this in the states. <laughs> yeah, but y'all have some trash fights, man. I need some guarantees. <laughs> if y'all get Canelo Golovkin a third one, yeah, I need a I need ringside for that. Right, and I need a hot dog and a soda too, and some peanuts, nigga. You know, yeah, don't, don't fuck up. Let me yeah. get a premium <laughs> open bar selection. Um, yeah, T-bone steak. <laughs> exactly, because because we'll test these niggas you know, even more. For, we'll test them every day, goddammit. You know, so you better not fuck up. Fuck the shit up. <laughs> for real. So, I mean, so now that we got Chavez Jacobs, how y'all see that fight going? Well, let's put it this way. I, one thing about Chavez, though, I mean, for the stuff that he does take to shut, I mean, he actually looks ripped at 168 now. Like, if you actually see the pictures of him and stuff like that, dude looks like, dude looks the part, I should say. Word? Because physical physical condition is one thing, but how, yeah, I mean, but he don't, yeah, but he don't fight the part. Yeah, exactly. But he, I mean, he actually does look the part right now. I mean, he he looks in shape. Um. But but like I said, you know, he dodged a drug test, and, and I have no, there's no doubt in my mind that this motherfucker used something, because uh, I mean, they, they've been popping drug tests. I mean, if they like that, a random test would kill the fight immediately for Chavez, and you know Chavez can't risk that. So he, he dodged that shit. He dodged that shit repeatedly. You know what he did. Uh, but he looks the part now. Now. There has to be, there, there, this fight, there has to be there's, there has to be a level shown. Like fuck the bullshit. There has to be a level shown. Danny Jacobs needs to come to 168 and pulverize this motherfucker. And like this fight should end in a stoppage for Danny Jacobs. Like I just, if, if Danny Jacobs ends up getting into a war and losing to this motherfucker, then that's a problem. That's a big problem. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, this is like Ch- Chavez Jr. should not win this fight. Should not be competitive. There should be a level shown. Danny Jacobs is, far, is a far more skilled fighter than Jay, than Chavez Jr. Yeah, definitely. Like, it shouldn't be a competitive. Like, if Chavez has some some type of competitiveness, it just should be off of volume and just being aggressive. Like, right. Like Chavez shouldn't be winning more than three rounds. Right. And God forbid Chavez Jr. actually knocks this motherfucker down. You know? Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, then we'll have to really reevaluate what, what the fuck did AJ could be doing. He probably needs to go I mean, back to his own trainer. Yeah. I mean, Mora did it. Yeah, I mean, Mora, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a huge anomaly in that one. You know, but at least, at least Mora at least had some good, clean wins under his belt. So Mora was, got the boxing ability. To actually counter a Jacobs or counter a higher level fighter like Chavez, that ain't really his game. No, like, Chavez, gotta, if Chavez run over you, it's just you weren't on your point. I mean, pretty much. I mean, Chavez's best win is against Andy Lee, and that's because this motherfucker was big as fuck and was able to take Andy Lee's power. You know, yeah. his best win and his best performance, really. Like, yeah, exactly. That was you know, his Bo Holyfield. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, because I mean, Chavez Jr. I mean, his game is always coming in. I mean, dude debuted at 130 pounds. You know, so it's his thing is always to cut as much weight as he can, so at least he can get the advantage. And then as he progressed, you know, it got to, and he, as he body grew out of coming in at 130, 140, God knows how he did that. Um, you know, he basically it was just it was volume. It was body. It was a body attack, and just leaning on him, weight and volume, and that's. And you know, he does have some pop in his fist. He's not, although he hasn't scored. He hasn't scored a knockout in quite some time, or well, except for the first round knockout. Um, yeah, because he gotta he gotta move his hands to get them knockouts and put that pressure. Like, yeah. If not, he's not gonna really get those knockouts like that. The worst thing is when when Junior tries to get on his toes and fucking box. Yeah, because he looks like an amateur. Rank amateur at that. Yeah, like just pressure <laughs> fight, bro. Like, yeah. And that may be enough, but and, you know, and that may actually be a problem. I mean, it's not. I don't think because Danny has shown himself to be a little skittish around, you know, pressure fighters or whatever. Um, 
Uh, but it's just one of those things I just can't, although I just, in my mind, I just can't see Danny just being on the ropes absorbing a body attack from Chavez Jr. I, 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 I shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to see that. I, I hope I don't see that. You know, yeah, I mean? it's like you got a higher pedigree because this is the thing like Jacobs, he needs to win this and look good because it's a showcase fight. Right. He needs to put his hat in there with the damn BJ, uh, with, with Saunders and Callum Smith at 168. Like, right. One of these three have to fight each other, had to make some type of fight this year. Right. Because it, it goes back to what we were saying earlier with the. You know, they got all these guys on this network or this platform and you can't make fights with them. It's just the same, you know, bullshit mandatory excuse or, you know, a fringe contender or or we're looking to get the next fight going to be real big one. It's going to be a big one, folks. <laughs> and then it's bullshit. Right. Yeah, yeah uh, Colin Smith, next fight's going to be a big one. Next fight. All right, we have Ryder here. Um, <laughs> Come on. Exactly, you know. Man, but, you wouldn't uh, mind if these guys were fighting three and four times a year. Then you, you could have these fights. We call it the James Tony effect. Facts. You stay sharp. You you fight your little, you know, journeyman French contenders. But then you also get the big names, and you, you know you have a career now. You get mm-hmm. money each way, but everybody wants to fucking make. You know, racks on racks for every single fight, regardless of the name or the opponent. Right, which is a whole nother problem. Yeah, you know, in uh, in boxing today. Yeah, like why well, I'm gonna pay you enough, pay you, pay you, to, pay you a high amount to fight some guy where I feel like if you take it serious, you should knock him out in three, four rounds. Right, facts. You you think that deserves fucking fifty k? I mean, I'm sorry, five hundred k. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you're now if you're one of these guys who could bring in all that type of revenue, then sure, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. But then even then, right. that's gonna get old unless you could unless you throw in some top names after that. Right. The problem is that when they throw the problem is when they throw top names at it's well, if you know, I deserve way more for it, then it becomes a, you know how now then then they want fucking ten million for a regular ass fight yeah yeah that's what's killing it man that's why fights take so long because dudes would be making damn 600k for a jobber career mode level fight then when he has to fight a guy who's in the top 10 or top five it's like oh man you know you know you know you gotta talk to my agent man that's like a million right like, now like, <laughs> that, like like i'll never i'll never forget the fucking when uh, you know I, I fucks with Danny, but uh, I'll never forget when fucking Angel Garcia was like, "Why would we fight a fucking uh, a Keith Thurman or a Sean Porter when we could fight a Rod Soka?" <laughs> oh yeah, I stood it on that so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I was not happy when I heard that. You know, it, it, yeah, that was some absolute horseshit. I was not, uh, I was, yeah, I, I let, you know, I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. Because, I mean, I, I, I'd already been accusing Danny of, of that shit before. And then Angel went and all confirmed that shit. And so, yeah, I, I went off on that. Like, <laughs> my whole thing is, like, why y'all have to go to the bottom of the barrel for the Rod Salkas? Like, what happened to the Figueroa's, the Yugas's, like, like, the, 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 the mid? <laughs> right. Like, I mean, come on. Like, we know everybody, every fight can't be top level. But, damn, mixing some of these top 10 guys, you know, top 15, oh, it's just too many names out there for these guys to have so, these these non-motivating bouts. And it's just right. one or two. Absolutely. Sport yeah. moves slow as fuck this way. Yeah, it does. You know, for uh, with the you know the beauty of boxing and the ugliness on the on the on the back end. I mean, it's it, it's awful, but yeah. I mean, all you can do is just hope that you know it does change eventually. Uh, but at least with this fight, I mean, you have at least an interesting co-man. It is the flyweight title fight um, between Julio Cesar Martinez, who famously almost won the flyweight title. Um, on the Lomachenko Campbell card with the, the, you know, it seemed like it was a knockout, then he reversed it because he knocked the dude out when he was on the campus with the body shot. 
So they had to like give that belt, he had to give that belt back. And Drew subsequently uh, um, gave up the belt because he didn't want no parts of that again. That ass woman moved up. So he's actually on there again. He's going to be fighting for a vacant title against uh, Christopher Rosales, which should be a good one. I mean, that's probably the best fight on the actual card. Um, and then, of course, we have a whole bunch of people. You know, we have Maurice Tucker that will be making his you know, appearance fresh off his brutal knockout from Jose Ramirez. And then we got Gabriel Rosado on there. And then we have Liam Smith on there. And... Josh Kelly, you know, who I haven't seen fight since he got that draw with Ray Robinson. So they got enough. I mean, I think all of them are pretty much showcases to a degree. Um, to a degree. like a decent card. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I mean, they, they have enough. I mean, at least this card, at least you know, for some for people, like, just to see where they are, especially with Hooker and Kelly, you know, because, I mean, Hooker got most brutally knocked out and Kelly should have took an L. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hooker, Hooker, Hooker should bounce back. No, yeah. nah, Ke- Kelly definitely fucking took that L to sugarless Ray Robinson. <laughs> I don't know, Ray Robinson's name looking good right now because it's like he handed an L to all these, all these guys just jumping yeah. into these bigger fights. Uh, I, I feel disrespectful call, calling him that, but it's sugarless yeah, no, I, Ray Robinson. Yeah, yeah, you got to put some respect on Ray because Ray... He, he's actually doing. He's actually doing. He's doing the Lord's work in boxing. Spoilers. Yeah. Like, he's spoilers. cleaning yeah, up he's, a lot of these weed, guys. He's, yeah, he's weeding. He's weeding out the phonies, the the the, the, the guys exactly. that they, they try that they try to pr- promote as threats, but not really are like anything. So I mean, <laughs> yeah. and then later on, I mean, they yeah. try to make you forget about the performance, and then. When the guy gets into a bigger fight, we're like, oh, hold on, ain't that the guy Ray Robinson was beating up? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> then, yeah. like, if Ray Robinson, like, he need to come out with a song or some shit. Like, <laughs> like yeah. his name buzzing too much for, for whooping on people that's getting bigger fights. Yeah. That, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah, that, that, that was absolutely crazy. Like, yeah. Cause now I think now I think Rose are now like nah nah we we can't put this motherfucker like we can't put him in with our undefeated uh, prospects and you know this motherfucker well you know, he he don't follow the script like a job is supposed to you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> career mode <mogul. laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly you know what I'm saying yeah, so yeah like, why is he landing <laughs> the right hand so much <laughs> you know, why is my fighter cut from the jab you know what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is my fire lost? Like you like, can't like you can't make an adjustment against them. <laughs> can't fight on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> like damn, like he just exposing dudes. So I mean, and you said this fight's a Friday night, right? Yeah, it most certainly is. Yes, sir. What time it start? Like what nine? Well, it depends. I mean, the, I'm not sure what's gonna make up the main part of the card. Yeah, it, I mean, it's usually like nine o'clock, but then of course, if you want to see like a Josh Kelly fight or, or see any of the other prospects, or whatever, it's either they'll probably start that start to either at six thirty or seven, something around there. Okay, okay, decent little yeah. um, fight for for Friday night, little card put together, and then um. Yeah. Saturday we got the um the Charlo joint on uh what regular Fox, right? Uh regular Fox, yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, a decent mean, weekend of fights. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And not too bad, not too good. It's, it's more than yeah. some toaster leavings, but it's not no filet mignon. Right. Or strad, as 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 you know, people like to throw jokes Sheesh, at me about can, can can we just stick to can we just like settle for damn sirloin? Right. <laughs> oh, I'm saying like niggas be giving us ground chuck. <laughs> yeah, baby, here's the five dollars. You know, you get to give mama some uh, ground four pounds of ground chuck. We know we gotta get it. You know we gotta stretch it out. Damn, why we can't get sirloin like our Angus? <laughs> like nah, like them, those rich folks. That's rich food people. Like nah, you can't eat that. <laughs> Let alone some fucking Kobe, nigga. Yeah, especially Kobe, yo. Kobe, that's like some Daener monster. Yeah. yeah that's, that, that's that super beef. Yeah, that, that Porter Spence. <laughs> you get that real, you get that real shit. Word. 
Oh, man. Yeah, like I said, it would definitely be, uh, you know, it should be a decent night. I mean, Friday night should be a decent vibe box, especially, you know, because they ain't really shut out on Friday nights anyways. Um, yeah. Unfortunately for myself, like I said, I think I made plans because I completely forgot about this, so I won't be watching this until I, until I come back from it. And thank God for the zone and instant, you know, and on demand. So I'll be able to catch the whole card and everything. And I'm, I was going to let it spoil for me because, like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not one of the niggas that have to avoid everything. You know, this is, 20, this is 2019, we're going to 2020. Information is everywhere. If, you know, sometimes you're not looking for I mean, it. I can understand, but certain fights ain't worth, you know, killing yourself if you, if you know, if, you know, if you're getting spoiled with the result and shit. Yeah. Just one of them. Like, I can understand for the Saturday. Oh, oh my bad. That's my phone. No, but uh, Jacobs Chavez. I'm looking at Jacobs getting like a a stoppage. Like, like this shouldn't even be a distance fight. But if if Chavez is as ripped in his shape as y'all say he is, this shit yeah. might be a distance fight. Yeah, he ripped in shape, but he not gonna fight like it. So yeah, yeah but he yeah. could not fight like it and still go to distance. Right, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because one thing that Chavez Jr. does have and inherited from his pops is he has a chin. Not yeah. anymore. <laughs> you don't even got that anymore. Well, he's only been knocked out once. That's the yeah. Thing. He still got a chin. I mean, a light heavyweight guy who who's a a decent puncher. You know, because Fon Far is no no feather yeah. no feather duster. You know, put him down. Right. Exactly. And Fon Far putting mean, hands I, I on know. everybody. The, way, the, the last couple of fights I've seen him in, he don't he. Didn't look like he was taking punches all that well. I don't think his punch resistance is as good as it as it was before. I mean, I'm sure he could still take some shots. I think, but I feel yeah, like... but that goes into him being in ho- horrible shape too. Right. I mean, it's true. Really... When you're not in shape, it's like your punch resistance goes down. Like that's why, I like with Khan, like when when he was like really in shape and doing all the strength training and all that bullshit, like. Like, he was taking bombs from everybody. Yeah, he was getting hurt, but he was able to deal with them better. Right. And when you stop doing all that bullshit, um, you, you get what you get. <laughs> yeah, because after that, he starts getting dropped, and you're like, oh, shit. Like, he's getting, like, life, you know, fight-changing drops and, and, and getting hurt and shit. Right. Where it's, where it's like he's taking him rounds to recover. Lots of rounds. <laughs> yeah, like the Peterson fight. That's, that's that's one where he got hurt, and you know it took a while, you know, for him to <laughs> to even you know get back into the fight. Uh, <laughs> this one, fucking Julio Diaz, another one. Yeah, <laughs> he got dropped in that shit. It took him a while to get back into that fight. Sure did. You know, and, and Savage. I mean, like I said, if he gets, I mean, Danny is a decent puncher. I mean. Like he he could definitely put Chavez away if he's focused. But yeah, he put his shots together. Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah, but yeah, Chavez is one of his biggest attribute is he can take a punch. He's 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 not a, he's not a weak chin. So it'll be interesting to see. You know, if if Jake now if Jacob throws the kitchen sink at him, like brutalizing him and he's still standing, then it's like, okay, at least you made an attempt to put this motherfucker away. You yeah, know, and, and then you just can't. You just brutalize him, but you just couldn't put him down. And like that's fine. At no, least I call it the Forrest Baldemir effect. Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't think you'll have to throw the kitchen sink at him. I, but I mean, if he does, it, it helps. Shit, like yeah. Hey, hey you, these guys don't even fight enough as it is. You better be throwing the kitchen fit sink when I see you. Right. And <laughs> yeah, these niggas ain't fighting every every summer, every every day, every shit. Yeah. Oh man, so yeah, uh, like I said, it should be interesting. You know, uh, you know, we we hope for a fade on Friday night. You know, some and then you know some kind of thing. Uh, you know, little showcases here and there. See where fighters are after their losses or close calls with a loss or a draw or whatever. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I think we're all in agreement that we all think that Jacob should probably stop Chavez Jr. Yeah. If uh, at the very least, if it goes a distance, I need to hear the scorecards read like 117, 111, 118, 110. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I hear if I hear a 116, 112, that means that means that something went wrong. And like, yeah. hopefully, it's a judge scoring wrong, like you know, giving 
giving Chavez Jr. the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> We know it's a fight. Well, yeah, yeah, Chavez, like, like, kind of like Andre Ward and uh, Carl Frodge. Yeah. We we know that wasn't no fucking one fifteen, one thirteen. Yeah, of course. That was more like one one seventeen, one eleven. Yeah, at least. Yeah. So I mean, it'll be it'll, 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 it'll be interesting to see. Like, and like, obviously, if Junior does do well as expected, I can I can see Eddie probably making moves like, okay. Yeah, you know, we need you with our next Brazil Mexican card and shit like that. So, uh, um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, like I said, this should be a decent fade, you know. Hopefully, no no struggle shit or whatever. And like I said, nothing comes out on Friday, really. So, uh, except maybe basketball, but you know. But so, um, so yeah, uh, I believe we come to the end of our show for tonight. Um, final thoughts, guys. Uh, I mean, I'm just looking forward to a good, good weekend of uh, boxing. Um, pay. <laughs> we want the pay. Yes, yes, we want the fade. Exactly. Yeah. So, but in, in the end, you know, all we have in this life is fades. You know, if we don't have fades, what do we have? Nothing. Nothing. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All about the Every fighter should always should be able to run the fade. If you don't know how to run the fade, then you need to train harder. <laughs> now nah, I'm just yeah. bullshit. <laughs> but since you know, we do want to see fade. Yeah, yeah, like fuck the, all that. We want to see it. major card. Yeah. I think, you know, the Gamboa Tank after this, right? I'm, yeah, the Gamboa Tank is the last we, major card in America. For let me put it like this: we've been, we've been, you know, we haven't, we've been deprived of fades for too long now that we should have gotten. I'm about to fucking roll up into a gym and just be like, yo, who want a fade? Like, <laughs> that's how the five we've been a fade. Creed. <laughs> you better have some hands if you do that shit. Don't come to no gym down here. Yeah. You might get shot. <laughs> and that's after the ass whooping. <laughs> like, oh, oh, we were supposed to be, that was supposed to be it after the fight, right? <laughs> Damn, but uh, yeah, I just I just want some fades this weekend. If we uh, get I don't want any fuckery, get... controversy, judges. I mean, if we get a fight out a year out of one of these fights, great. You know, the more the merrier. Fight of the years are always, you know, they're always welcome. Yeah, even if it comes out of Jacobs Chavez. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like, damn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll, man, we'll, but, yeah, uh, yeah. If if, if that ends up, yeah, then the, the recap will be very interesting. So I have a lot to say about that. It'll be like the <laughs> Quillin, uh, <laughs> Quillin Angulo, Quillin Angulo ass fight. <laughs> I feel like this has Quillin Angulo vibes. Uh, <laughs> I'm not getting none of that. I'm not getting any of those. <laughs> uh, I guess because it's a fight that has potential, but I don't really care about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And it it might end up being good. Yeah, sometimes it, it's weird how boxing plays out. Sometimes like cards that you don't really expect to, you know, to be you know, to be really on point, and then all of a sudden, like there's like fades upon fades. You know, it's it, it's it, both guys are fresher in you know in their career than Angulo Quillen. Yeah, I know. You know and, so yeah. for them, if they have a fight half that good, then shit, the fans win. Exactly. Yeah, and more importantly, Ring Gang Radio wins. Hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because, you know, we, you know, with this year, it just shows we need to be getting top level performances from our top level fighters. Right. When, when that happened in the second part of this year, because it was spotty in the first half. Very much. It so. just turned up when that happened. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it really, it really it kicked off um, with, um, you know, with uh, Pac and Thurman, you know, and then yeah, that's it did. And then the low key was, Ramirez Hooker, I think, what was that? That was that in July too. Yeah, that was in July. That was like I think the first, or what was, or was Pac Thurman first? Uh, they were definitely in the same month. I, I know. Yeah. But, but those those set it off for me, like especially Pop Thurman, because it was a legit big fight, mm-hmm. and Hooker Ramirez was a big fight for that division. 
Exactly, because it was the unification, you know. Exactly, and it was something we was looking forward to for months now. So when when big fights end up being good, boxing is always great. Right, and then yeah, and we'll and we'll definitely be talking more about these uh, about these fights of the years um, later on in the month. Yes, oh so. yeah, uh, we got the Hooker. award show. <laughs> yeah, Hooker, Hooker Ramirez came the week after. Okay. Oh, okay. So Pac Thurman was the official set off. Yeah. And then it's like Hooker Ramirez kept it going. And then after that, we we took a little break. And then yeah, Kovalev yeah. Yard came. Yeah. And then, you know, then, you know, Spence and Porter came. And then Triple G and Divery and Chenko. And then Pro Great Taylor. And then Monster Donaire. You know, you know oh, these are all the high level fights. Was and that, that ended up being good. Yeah, good and to to absolute flat up fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so. so and speaking of monster, y'all y'all make sure y'all y'all hollering at the ring gang Twitter all that got the got that that monster artwork up and um y'all check out got that hashtag video out old artist album y'all know what it do. Word. So um. Y'all just check us out. Y'all, y'all see everything that's going on, and it's gonna be more shit going on, more episodes. Going to probably do another uh, eye test episode this week with uh, PJ. Shout out to PJ. Shout out to PJ. Seminar yeah. coming up. Word. So you know we uh, just gonna keep doing it big, man. You know, shout out to all the the fans around the world. You know, Spain, New Zealand, Japan, Philippines, uh, Sweden, Denmark, um, all that. Especially I can't in the remember you know, anymore. Yeah, US. Like I said, US. Like I said, you know, you, you know, thank you for liking and subscribing, and you know, and just listening to our shit. Like I said, you know, and then like we do, like, we, 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 do it. we all like we like to. You know, bring what we got to the masses. You know what I'm saying? Because we're passionate boxing fans. So uh, that's the thing. That's the goal. Man. That's the goal for the radio. Yup. Uh, P, do you have any other final thoughts? Same old, same old. Ring gang, ring gang, all day, every day. Subscribe, follow YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Ringdangradio.com. Come, 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 come. <laughs> box, 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 box. box. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> we doing it. We doing it. Jason style. <laughs> fade, fade, fade. <laughs> I hope there's no. Probably, probably, probably. <laughs> This weekend, <laughs> draw, 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 PBC, PBC, PBC. <laughs> oh no, nah, nigga, no, no, I ain't jinxing shit. Yeah, no, I don't no want to see no draw this weekend. Fuck that. Yeah, no, not at all. Unless it's unless it's a unless it's, unless, unless, unless it's, uh, it's, it's an earned draw. Like, yeah, like a real true draw. Not none of this. Well, um. Uh, <laughs> We'll have a spinoff next year, folks. Uh, I don't want to be the guy to lose because we got a lot invested in both. Um, yeah. 114, 114. Yeah. Boxing cliffhanger. <laughs> when, the, when you thought you were the main character, but someone else is, like, you, you weren't the only one with plot armor. <laughs> Hold on, I thought the show was about me. Like, you're wrong. About us <laughs> next year on the zone. Jesse Vargas, Mikey Garcia, too. <laughs> PBC, next PBC Fox in May. Uh, Charlo Harrison, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, uh, jokes. Jokes. You gotta love them. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, I just gave my final thoughts a little earlier. So yes, for myself, Pascal Pedro, the only representer. For LB, Shadow Wolf, the God, go artist. For King People, Dega P. This has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace, 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 peace. peace. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> oh, God.